Hi everyone, it's Marissa with Bubble Bee Apothecary. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do an updated video on a healing salve. This is an herb infused healing salve that I've upgraded and made even better. I have another video, which I'll link below, to how to make this herb infused healing salve that uses an olive oil and beeswax base. And it's fantastic. It's great for healing shallow wounds. It has four different really powerful skin healing herbs that also reduce inflammation and help heal bruising and trauma. And they're just amazing for minor wounds and injuries. I wanted to make this even better by replacing the base of olive oil with tallow. Just because tallow has such amazing skin benefits by itself, I thought that that would make this salve even better, and it does. It's so amazing for healing all kinds of little skin wounds, injuries. It's great also for bug bites, irritations, rashes, reactions, anything where it's itchy or irritated and just needs it to be calm and soothed. And it helps all those little wounds like I was talking about heal really fast. This is absolutely essential to keep around the house if you work outside a lot and get little injuries that way, if you have animals, if you have kids who are getting hurt, perfect for taking along if you go camping or if you're gonna be out in the wilderness and you need some type of a natural first aid kit, it's great. So let's jump in and I'm gonna show you how to make it. There will be a link to the full written recipe in the description box below so you can get all the measurements that way. I'm gonna start off by measuring the amount of tallow that I need. You can see that I've already melted the tallow so that it's liquid and pourable, so I'm just going to measure that out. Once it's measured out, I'm going to put it into a quart size glass mason jar. I always like the wide mouth mason jars because they're easier to work with. Now to that melted tallow, I'm going to start by adding my herbs. Right here I have calendula flowers, Next, I'm going to add the plantain leaf. Here is the comfrey leaf. And last of all, the chickweed leaf. I'm gonna give it a good stir with my wooden skewer or chopstick, just to make sure that the herbs are well incorporated and all mixed into the melted tallow. Now I'm going to create a hot water bath, like a double boiler type of a situation, with a cloth on the bottom that just helps the glass jar not break when it's sitting in the hot water. I'm going to add water to this just to bring it up to the level of the tallow, and then I'm going to put it on the stove and turn the heat to something where you'll get a light simmer, so like a medium or medium low. Now you can see it's simmering nicely. You want to let this go for at least four to five hours, but longer is even better. I usually like to let mine go for about 12 to 24 hours. You just have to be sure to replace any water that evaporates during that time. Once the infusion is done, I'm going to strain the herbs out of the tallow. So I'm using a metal strainer. You can also use cheesecloth too. Either one or both together work really well. I like to use something like a spoon to just kind of press the herbs to get all of the tallow out. At this point, I'm going to take the herbs and set them aside. They're great for composting, so I'll add those to our compost pile. And now you can see how the tallow has this deep green hue. That's all those wonderful properties from the herbs in that tallow now. The next thing I'm going to do is add my beeswax. give it a stir so that just starts to get kind of incorporated and then I'm going to return that to its hot water bath or double boiler so that the beeswax can melt and become all the way incorporated with the tallow. The beeswax just helps it to be a bit of a thicker stiffer consistency which is really nice for a salve. And 
now you can see it's gotten nice and hot again and the beeswax is completely melted. You also want to make sure that everything is hot enough that the jar is also very hot so that when you go to pour into the tins, it doesn't start to cool and solidify by going up the side of a cool jar. So make sure your jar is pretty warm and then at this point it's ready to pour into the tins. I'm using one ounce size tins here and I just find that that is a really nice convenient size to be able to carry along with me or just have around the house. You're going to let these solidify at room temperature and now you can see they're this nice beautiful light green color now that they're solid and cooled. So here's what they look like up close. Just a beautiful herbal salve with that wonderful grass-fed tallow base. It's just such amazing stuff. You have to try it. All right, hope you enjoyed seeing that and I hope you give it a try. If you do, give me a comment below and let me know what you think. If you'd rather pick up a pre-made version, I'm going to put a link to my shop below where you can grab one of those. I'm also gonna link sources to the ingredients so that you can make it yourself and find those easily. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button. I make new videos every week on living an organic handcrafted lifestyle. Thanks so much, see you next time, bye.